What's up team? It's about 5.30 a.m. I'm tired, but ready for the day. We've got a really busy day ahead today. Massage and training clients. Pretty much not stop with like a three hour gap in the middle of the day, but uh, it's gonna be a good one. And I'll see you guys soon. Just finished up with a few training clients. Uh, the morning massages, typical Wednesday morning. Um, gotta head home now, try and get some video editing done for the vlog post to go up today and uh, get some food in me and then just back to the grind. Busy afternoon again. See you soon. I've been getting a lot of inquiries about ketogenic dieting and what I think about it. Before I get too much into like the ketogenic side of things, let's talk about dieting and the word diet itself. Diet is a word that has been completely butchered and completely overmarketed in the last few years. When we think about diet now, the things that pop into our head are all marketing ploys, things like ketogenic dieting. Things like the paleo diet, things like 21 day fix, uh, the diet that will lose you X amount of pounds. Diet is supposed to be how you eat on a daily basis. Your nutritional habits is what the word diet is supposed to be. Long term, not short term, not 30 days, not 20 days, not 15 day diet fix, none of that stuff. Diet is supposed to be something that is long term nutritional habits. Now, back to ketogenic dieting. When somebody asks me if I think ketogenic dieting will be good for them, the first thing I always ask them is, how well do you like your carbs? How hard is it for you to go off of eating carbs? How often do you eat carbs now? Because if somebody who really likes to eat their carbs, so that's fruit, that's your vegetables, that's bread, all that stuff, if you really like to have that stuff and you feel like it's really hard for you not to have it, no matter how good you think that the diet's gonna work for you to cut those carbs out, it's gonna be really hard for you to cut it out and therefore it might not make sense for you to do that diet because it might not, it might, might not be sustainable for you. Now, disclaimer here, there are some people who even though they really like carbs, would really benefit from it through different diseases, different, uh, different uh, medical cases um, but I'm not going to get into that here. The base line that I want to cover here for you guys is that whether it's ketogenic, whether it's paleo, whether it's this, whether it's that, whether your friend Susie said that she did it and it worked really well for her, you got to do what's right for you and what's going to work for you. So don't do a diet just because somebody else said it works well for them or because you read that you'll lose more belly fat doing ketogenic or doing paleo, whatever it might be. You have to do something that's going to work for your lifestyle, something that you can make work for you. And that's, that's what diet is, right? It's those nutritional habits, long term, not short term, not 30 days, not 20 days, not 15 days. It's your eating habits for your life. Whew. Just finished. Crushing the legs a little bit. Got my footwork in. Although, the footwork was a grind after legs, I have to admit. So I just did a little bit. But enough to get me sweating again. Next up, getting ready for some clients. Hit the showers. And just, uh, yeah, get ready to grind out some sessions with some people. Making people fit. Let's get it. Let's go. What's up, guys? Just walking up to boot camp now. Just heading up the hill. After this. That night should be a wrap. I might try and relax. Probably not though. Probably hit up some computer work. Anyways, almost boot camp time. Ready to get it. Get these guys moving and losing. Let's do it. What's up team? Literally just got back from boot camp like maybe five minutes ago. 
just averted this storm. We got lucky. 